What's up everybody, I am Jasprit Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. There are two types of people in the world. On one hand, you have, Oh my god, what happens if I make this investment and I lose all my money? Eeh, eeh, eeh. And on the other hand, you have, Oh my god, what happens if I make this investment and I make a lot of money? Ooh, ooh. Ooh. The first group of people tend to stay stagnant financially and the second group of people tend to become successful. Let me explain why. I would say that about 80% of the population falls into the first category of people that just focus in on the negative what ifs. You know, the oh my god, what if the world ends type of people. These are the people that never invest, that never start a business, that never really do anything financially because it's risky. So they just stay stagnant. It's kind of unfortunate, but this is what we're bred to believe. Like when we're in school, we're taught that making mistakes and messing up is bad. What did I tell you about following directions, Johnny? And we're also taught that being wrong is like the worst thing that you can do. So why would you want to try something risky like investing where you can mess up and make a mistake and look like a failure? when you could just go the safe route and save your money and get an A at that. Even though you really want the F, you know, financial education. I mean, just look at the numbers. Most people will tell you that investing your money is important and being financially smart is important, but the majority of people don't do it. I mean, how many of your friends are investing in real estate? or investing in businesses, or starting businesses, or doing anything that will help them build wealth over the long term. Wait, isn't my job supposed to make me wealthy? And that's why for the vast majority of people, their only investment is the 401k, which was never meant to be your sole investment plan. I already made videos explaining this, and I'll link them in the description below for you to watch in case you were wondering after this video. You've heard this before, right? Ready, aim, fire. This is what the majority of people say they follow. But in reality, when you come up with an investment idea or a business idea or really an idea to do anything, it's not ready, aim, fire. If you have an investment idea, it's more like ready, aim, 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 and then go nowhere out of your idea because the majority of people focus in on the aim process and they just aim and aim and aim and then they psych themselves out of doing whatever they want to do because they start thinking of all the risks and all the what ifs and all the hurdles and all the potential objections involved so then you go nowhere it's ready aim stop that's why i want you to stop following this ready aim fire model of going nowhere and start following ready fire aim because now you will shoot and then you screw up and then you figure out where you screwed up and why you screwed up and then you can fix it. If you spend enough time aiming at or analyze anything, you will find enough faults or risks or hurdles to stop you from doing anything. Wait, should I really start a YouTube channel? What if people don't like me? What if a lot of people leave me a thumbs down button? What if people tell me that I'm ugly? <gasps> What if people are so offended by what I say, they print out pictures of me and then they post it on their mirrors with the words mean YouTuber on it. Oh my God. Look, even my most profitable real estate deals had problems with them. Nothing will be perfect, but you will never be good or go anywhere unless you take the first step and start making your mistakes so you can learn how to get better. What you need to understand about investing and business and success in general is that screwing up and making mistakes is a part of the process. You can't avoid it. So the faster you start, the faster you will make your mistakes, the faster you will look like a fool, and the faster you will learn your mistakes and the faster you can get past them and go to the next step. I'm not scared to admit that I've made my fair share of mistakes. I even made a video where I talked about my worst real estate deal ever. It was the only deal that I ever lost money on and I walked through it. I was a young and inexperienced investor and I made a ton of mistakes that I will never make again. But that one deal that I lost money on taught me years, even a lifetime worth of knowledge because I went through it and I learned things that I would have never learned to sitting on the sidelines. If you want to watch it, I'll link it in the description below for you to watch after this video. Yeah, I lost money on that deal. And yeah, I lost sleep during that time. And yeah, it was a pain to deal with. 
But those mistakes set me up to do a whole bunch of very profitable deals after that because I learned what not to do and I learned how not to get screwed over. These mistakes were the tuition that I had to pay to become a successful real estate investor. You know, because my college tuition wasn't enough for, well, life. Making mistakes is kind of like firing an arrow. If you want your arrow to go forward, first you have to pull it back and stretch it. That way it can shoot forward. When you make your mistakes, it's the same thing. You feel like you're taking a step back, but you're just setting yourself up to shoot forward. The people that become wildly successful are not the ones that zero in on the risks and the hurdles and the potential problems that might happen. It's the people that smell the possibility even when it's covered with a truckload of horse manure. Oh, don't you just love the fresh smell of opportunity in the morning? Uh, that's not opportunity, Jaspreet. Now, before you just start blindly jumping into risky business deals and super risky investments, hear what I'm saying. Yeah, you should focus in on the opportunity, not the risk, but that doesn't mean that you should not avoid and ignore the risks. If somebody comes to you and says, hey, just wire me $1,000 and I'll flip it to $2,000 tomorrow with my secret system, you know something it smells fishy there. Wait, I thought that was the opportunity smell. Analyze your opportunity, see what the potential problems are, see what the potential profits are, but don't just zero in on the risks and avoid doing the deal because there are risks associated with doing something. When we started our Minority Mindset Finance and Business Newsletter, I knew there were gonna be risks and we didn't know how we were gonna do it, but I knew that this was the direction I wanted to take a company, so we went after it. I had never been involved with the news before, so I knew that covering the top finance and business news was gonna be expensive in the beginning. And I knew that breaking this news down and making it easy to understand and fun was gonna be time consuming. And I knew that teaching you how this news affects your wallet was gonna be hard. But us sitting on the sideline and just doing nothing wasn't going to help us become a better newsletter company. The only way we got better was by doing it. If you've been on our newsletter for a long time, you've seen the early edition of our news and news stories. And at the time when we were publishing them, we thought they were amazing. But compared to the news stories and the newsletter we publish now, it looks like a... <laughs> Smelly opportunity. Screwing up is a part of the process because that's how you learn what not to do. And every time you screw up, you cut off a piece of the fat and you learn what not to do. And so eventually, if you do this enough, you'll only be left with what you should be doing. But the only way you can get there is if you take that first step and you're willing to make a mistake. And if you want to subscribe to our newsletter where you can get financial news you can finally use delivered to your inbox for free, I will link the information on how you can subscribe in the description below and in the link up here. What you waiting for? You got nothing to lose by signing up and that's what we talked about this whole video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss any videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.